Hello again, this is Jillian Downs, the Oil Paint Pixie. Today I wanted to show you my progress work on my project uh, for both my master's class and my children's book coming up soon, which I'm still deciding the title of, but I'm thinking it's going to be called The Cat's Keys. So this drawing is from one of the first two page scenes in my book where the main character is in a dream and she sees this giant clock below and she's gonna actually her foot slips on a rock and the pebbles kind of remind her how high up she is and so it's the start of the book and then she's gonna wake up to find that she's actually been daydreaming um, in her classroom and the subject is learning about how to read a clock and then the story is going to continue from there and that's all I want to say for now because I'm still developing the story and of course the element of surprise is always a nice thing. So for this painting though, um, I actually submitted to my professor the photo of the sketch and then the photo of a finalized sketch and then he had a time to critique it as if he was a client uh, and then his, his advice was to make, you know, make sure that the hand was in the correct perspective to the body. So that's why you see that the first thing that I had done was actually sketch over a photo of my hand um, in that perspective. And I transferred it to the page so that it would be in the correct perspective. Because I kind of noticed that too, that my hand was way too small. Um, so I had my husband help me take some photo references and that was the first thing we changed. And actually I wound up adding an additional layer of paint over the hand because you'll notice as I paint for this video, it um, was kind of hard to cover the original sketching. My bad, I made it a little too dark and I painted over it really lightly with watercolor paint but then found out that it still was too dark. and even trying to wash it out a little bit with water didn't seem to remove it all the way so I just had to layer over it uh, and eventually I actually put it into a digital you know form in Photoshop so I could then layer over it again in digital media so it would be nice and solid so I learned <laughs> don't do it that way probably best to leave out the character honestly until the end of the painting or the end of this the sketching phase uh, and then kind of figure out in perspective how to do it and then add it in would have been better but oh well <laughs> it worked out well I think <laughs> so and I'm using gouache paint for this which I'm really liking because of the way that it dries nice and solid you know you can have kind of some areas like in a normal watercolor painting where it's a little too washy but with the gouache paint, it set when it sets, it turns out really beautiful, <laughs> which is nice. It kind of covers any weird areas that you didn't want to dry a certain way. So yeah, this is my progress work so far on this uh, two-page spread, the first two pages of the book, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I do have a couple things I'm considering changing about it, but overall I like the design. Possibly I'll add more rocks or more depth to the area right near my character, just to make it look even more as though she's on the top of a cliff really looking down. But. I like how it's working out and I'd love to hear your comments and feedback below in the comment section and uh, thanks for watching.